Here I'm going to show you how a king valve on a larger condensing unit, how the receiver and the gauge port and the liquid line outlet are connected with each other. Uh, in this example, your gauge port is right here. Your liquid line connection is here. The receiver tank here on the bottom, the king valve actually screws on to a fitting here. This is what we call a rotolock type fitting. There's a Teflon O-ring that has a seat as well as the valve has a seat and you sandwich the O-ring in between those two surfaces and tighten the nut down to make the seal. In this example when we remove the valve stem cap, as we front seat the service valve our orientation is such that the gauge port is at a higher level than the liquid line outlet port. So when we front seat the valve you're actually sealing off the flow down at this area. So as it's front seated, you're going to stop the flow of liquid out of the receiver. The gauge port and the liquid line will both be on the same side of the system. So we're sealing it off below these two. This is unlike your smaller condensing units that have a just the opposite operation. In those this would typically be the liquid connection and this would be the receiver outlet. This being receiver outlet, when you front seated the valve, you would still have that receiver outlet pressure here, which could be monitored by a gauge, yet the liquid line pressure would drop. This is a more desirable type of valve when you have an application that may require the system to be pumped down for a low side uh, or even high side repair downstream of the king valve. That would allow you to pull a vacuum on this port just as you could also pull one on the low side of the system.